Hey guys, today we're going to be painting this Orc Berserker from the Reaper Bones Miniatures line to core level with the following colours. Pure Black Shadowed Steel Leaf Green and Khaki Highlight. Get yourselves a suitable working area. First thing you want to do is get a sharp knife and remove the casting lines from the model. But remember to always cut away from yourself. Finish off with a file if needed. So first things first, I've base cut the entire model with pure black and then shadowed steel on top using my airbrush. You can just as easily do this bit by hand. For his skin, we'll use leaf green. Give it a good shake, pop some on your palette and base coat all the skin. You may need two coats at this stage, but this is normal. So there we see, all of the flesh area has been painted in leaf green. Next we need to paint all of the leather on the model with pure black, like his straps, boots and his skirt, kilt, you know, whatever it is. Try to be as neat as possible at this stage, but don't worry if you make a mistake, you can always paint over it. So there we are, all the leather has been painted. Next we need to paint his base. Take khaki highlight and mix it 50-50 with black to make a medium grey colour. And just brush this over his base. So there we see his base has been fully covered. Next we'll take pure khaki highlight and paint his teeth and fingernails. So that is the base coat stage done. Next we need to wash over the entire model with heavily diluted pure black. Get it to the consistency of skim milk and add a tiny dash of liquid soap into the mix. Wash this over the entire model except for the base and sword. So there we see the whole model has been washed. A little has spilled onto his base, so we'll have to paint over that when it's dry. Go make yourself a cup of tea while he dries off. Now he's all dry, we're going to dry brush his base. Use khaki highlight for this. Take an old brush, and that most precious of commodities in 2020, toilet roll. Wipe the majority of the paint off on the tissue and then lightly brush it across his base to bring out the raised detail. Repeat this process with shadowed steel and dry brush it across his armour in a downward motion to catch the paint on the upper surfaces. Next we want to paint his individual teeth and fingernails with khaki highlight again. Just use a steady hand, don't worry too much about getting any on your skin as we're about to layer that up again. Take some leaf green and paint the centre of each muscle. This model has really well defined musculature so it's easy to see where to paint. Just avoid the points where the muscles meet where the wash has settled. Pick out the details on his face too, like his lips and his nose. So there we go. All finished with just four colours. 
Now don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.